TCU is just one win away from reaching their second College World Series in school history and in the past five years. The Horned Frogs took down the Pepperdine Waves 3-2 in eight and a half innings here at Lupton Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas on Saturday. Great ball game, great atmosphere. Um, really excited about the, the way we held our composure throughout the course of the game. I thought uh, as we were at four hits in an inning and don't score uh, and then had a bunch of hits there in the first six or seven innings and only you know, obviously Derek Derek's hit was uh, was really big because it kind of took some pressure off. TCU was the first to put runs on the board in the fourth inning when Derek O'Dell singled to left field and a fielding error led to two RBIs. The Horn Frogs final run came in the fifth inning when Kevin Crone crossed the plate. Newly drafted Brandon Finnegan, who was picked 17th in the first round by the Royals on Friday, gained a win and improved his pitching record to 9-3. You just got to tip your hat off to Finnegan. My gosh, he did a heck of a job. He pitched down in the zone the whole day. He was throwing everything down there. He just he just did a really good job, and that's why he's a first-round pick. Finnegan pitched six scoreless innings before the Waves tried making a comeback early in the seventh with a two-run home run by Chris Fornesey. I'm not trying to be cliche. I'm really not, uh, but it's, just, it's one game, and uh, hopefully we'll be, uh, I know we'll be ready to play tomorrow. We just need to get some rest and get hydrated and ready to go. The road to Omaha continues with game two against Pepperdine on Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Time, and the Horned Frogs are looking for the win. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Rhiannon Rowley.